options for men. Ab etching invented by Dr. Mintz. I've seen patients who work out four hours a day and still can't achieve what I can do in 45 minutes. Dr. Mintz invented ab etching in 1991 after this bodybuilder couldn't get a six pack. Genetically, most men can't get a six pack no matter how hard they work out. Abdominal etching is a two-fold operation. We thin the fat pad so that we unveil the muscles that are underneath. And then secondly, we outline the muscles so that they appear more, more well-defined. Today, men fly in from all over the world to get the mince six-pack. This bodybuilder kept losing competitions because of his soft-looking stomach. Look at the mince transformation. And what we've done is outline his muscles by etching in the linea alba, the linea semilunaris, the transverse inscriptions, and also we etched in the serratus at the lateral edge to give him a more outlined and muscular look in the abs. Dr. Mintz also augmented this man's chest with pec implants. That incision is made in the armpit. This guy went from good to amazing after Dr. Mintz etched his abs. And if they keep up their good habits, how long will this last? Well, it lasts forever. Peck etching, invented by Dr. Mintz. Many patients that, that have a little bit of softness in the tummy also are soft in the chest as well. So we can outline the pectoral muscles so they have a little beefier look in the chest, a little more athletic look in the chest. This patient went from soft to hard and sexy and he doesn't even work out. Dr. Mintz achieved this dramatic change through detailed etching. We've outlined the edge of the pec muscle and done pectoral etching. We've outlined the abdominal muscles to give him this six pack and abdominal etch. This businessman had puffy eyes, jowls, and a very droopy neck. Dr. Mintz did a full facelift, neck lift, and he did his eyes, and look at the change. You can see in his post-op photo that the neckline is strong. He has a masculine jawline. He has strength in the cheeks, and his eyes are more open. He looks great, and his wife is happy too. The scars, most of which are hidden in his hair, are incredibly difficult for anyone to see. This man came to Dr. Mintz after another surgeon left him with a crooked nose. And you can see the tip also looks a little bit cut off and he's got no tip definition here. Since Dr. Mintz is also an otolaryngologist, he's an expert at noses. Crooked noses, whether they've been operated on or not, are very difficult rhinoplasties. You do have to utilize special techniques to add cartilage, to balance things out. You do have to remove underlying tension. You can see Dr. Mintz left him with a perfectly straight nose and a great profile. 